Hello guys, this is Deepika from MyTutorialRack.com and in this tutorial, we are going to talk about what are objects and fields in Salesforce. Now, as I mentioned to you, objects in Salesforce are nothing but tables and uh, fields are nothing but the columns of that table. So, for example, let's say if I asked you to store the list of all your employees in your company and uh, basically store their email addresses, their physical address, their date of birth and their salary and the name specifically. Okay, so I have asked you to store all this information. So generally how you're going to do it, you're going to open up an Excel sheet and you're going to create columns like name, email ID, address, date of birth and salary and then you'll start entering data into it. So let's say I have a employee named John Smith. I'll provide his email ID, the address where he lives, what's his date of birth and the salary. So this is how I'm going to store the information. So this is nothing but it's a table, right? And inside of this table, you have made these are called as the columns, right? So these are the columns of that table. And then you have entered the data, which is basically the rows, right? This is the row inside of that table. So now in terms of Salesforce, we call them differently. Okay, so first of all, we don't call a table. We basically table is called as object in Salesforce. And uh, just like in table, we have column in object we have is fields. And similarly, in the table, you have these rows. We don't call them as rows. We call them as records inside of Salesforce. So object is nothing but it's a table. And just like in a table, you will have these columns where you will use to capture the information. Similarly, object will have its field where you're going to capture different types of information related to that object. So here you can see name is one of the column. Email ID is another column. So now if I have to convert this table over to a Salesforce object, I can do that. Okay. So I'll create a object called as employee and inside of this object, I will add some fields and the fields that I will add would be employee name. Then there will be a field for email ID. Then there will be a field for address. Then there will be a field for date of birth and then I will create a field for salary, right? So these are the different fields that I will be adding for this object that I will be creating inside of Salesforce. So table is basically called as object in Salesforce. The column of the table is called as fields in the Salesforce. So we don't call them as columns, we call them as fields. And the these rows that you see is basically called as records in Salesforce. Now, if you go back to the Salesforce account, you will see what do I mean by object. Okay, so now if I go over to the account here, let's say we go over to this accounts tab and we pull up one of this account record. So let's say we pulled up this one record. And if you go over to the details tab, this is all the fields that are available inside of this account object. And uh, these are the, the first record that we pulled up. These are the values for those fields. So basically account is nothing but a table and that has a lot of fields inside of it. And then if you want to create a brand new account, how will you do? You'll go ahead and go over to the accounts tab. If you want to create a new, you can click on this new button next to the inside of this account tab if you go ahead and click on new and here i can say i will create an account called my tutorial rack dipika one this is the account that i'm creating the rating of the account let's say hot account number i'll give it as some random number and if i wanted to say what kind of account it is it's a customer direct account what industry it belongs to, let's say it belongs to education and uh, ticker symbol, I can say it's M-Y-T. This is the ticker symbol, my tutorial rack, address and if you want to give all this information and then hit the save button. So what I've done is I have created a account record now. So if you go over to the accounts tab, 
now if you go to the all accounts instead of now 13 that were there earlier now we have added one new account which is this my tutorial rag the pika one that's the account that we have created so it's a table and which consisted of all these kind of fields inside of this account object now there's another place where you can see this table kind of structure for every object so what you can do is there is something called as schema builder so in order to access the schema builder where will you go you'll go, click on this gear icon. So anytime I have to look for something, I'll come over to this setup, click on the setup here. And uh, in the quick find, I will say schema builder. So if you use this, write this keyword schema builder under the objects and field, this is the schema builder that it looks like. Now don't get overwhelmed with this. Basically it has all the objects that Salesforce comes up with the inbuilt standard objects that's what all of these are there but if you don't have to see all of them at once i'm going to go ahead and clear all this selection so i'm going to get rid of uh, pull this over here i'm going to get rid of all the selections that i've made and then i only want to look at account object so once you click on account you can move this over here on the canvas anywhere and this is how the account object looks like and this account object has a list of fields that it already comes up with. So you can basically think of this account as a table. Okay, this is the table that we have. And uh, let's say we call this table as account table. And this account table has these columns. And the columns are the name column. Then you have a account number column. Then you created another column like the account site we have, then the next one we have is account source, etc. So these are the different columns that are avail available under this table. But as I mentioned in Salesforce, we don't call them as tables, we call them as objects. And the columns of the table are called as the fields of that object. And the rows of that table are basically called as the records inside of Salesforce. Now, similarly, you can pull up a different object as well. So let's say I'm not interested in the account anymore. I only want to see another object that Salesforce has is let's say it's called as a lead. These are the standard list of objects that it has. So now if I go over, this is the lead table, you can call it. And these are the different fields that are available. So schema builder basically gives you a quick overview of the different objects that are there, the different fields, and also it gives you the relationships between those objects. So if I wanted to go ahead and uh, pull up the account object again, so I can pull up the account as well, and then I can have both of them together. So I can basically move this on the canvas, make it closer. And now you can see here, uh, if I drag this, and bring both of them on head to head you will see this is how the lead object is and this is we have is the account object and then if you wanted to basically minimize the view you can narrow it down by clicking on the minus it will make it a little smaller if you want to if you don't like it this small then you can increase the visibility by clicking on the plus sign now onto the canvas you can add few more things so you can go ahead and look for opportunity object and click on that and it'll pull up the opportunity. And this basically, this line between the account and opportunity tells that there is a relationship between these two objects. There's a relationship between account and opportunity. And when you hover your mouse over to that particular line, it'll tell you the relationship name. It's a lookup relationship from the opportunity to the account object. So we'll talk about all of these in upcoming tutorials, but this is just to give you an overview of that, what the behind the scene things look like. So these are nothing but a bunch of tables and a bunch of fields inside of those tables. So in order to look at all the tables at once, you can come over to the schema builder. And in other places, if you want to look at the different objects that Salesforce comes up with, you click on that gear icon one more time and you'll see here 
that there is next to the setup it has the setup thing and then it has a home page and then it has a object manager so object manager is also another place which is basically to manage all the objects if you want to create new objects you can you come here and create a brand new object as well but it also gives you the complete list of standard objects that are there currently inside of Salesforce. So you can see here, this is the complete list of objects that are there. They are total of 116 items sorted by the label. So you can see here, and if you want to access the schema builder, you can just directly go by clicking on this schema builder button and you can go over to the schema builder, which we just looked at it. Okay, there are multiple ways of navigating to the schema builder. One way is going over to the setup and then going over to the, so you can either go over to the quick find and type in schema builder over here, or you can even go to the object manager and you can click on the schema builder button over here. And you can see here, these are the list of that are there. So you can see we have, uh, if you look for a account, it'll go ahead and pull up the account object and if you click on that account object this is the ui that opens up we are looking into the account object now and this account object has these many fields under it so in the next tutorial we will deep dive into different objects and we'll take a look at the fields of those objects so i'll see you then thank you